Hello and welcome to this week's Two Minute Parsha. Last week was Parsha's Pikudei and in this week we start the new Sefer Sefer Vayikra. So, the Mishkan is all set, it's ready to use, but how? So, in Vayikra, Hashem calls Moshe from the Mishkan and he tells him all about the Korbanus. He tells him all the differences, what parts to be burned, what parts from each carbon are to be washed, what parts of each carbon were to be eaten, how each carbon was made, who made the carbon, whether it was done, who did it, whether it was done by the koyin or by the owner, what side of the mizbech the carbon was done of, and we run through the carbonus. The Torah starts off first with the oilo. The oilo is dependent on whether, the, the oilo is an elevation offering in English, and it's dependent on whether you're bringing it from cattle, or from sheep, or goats, or from birds, that's, d depending on that, where, what, and how the, the carbon was done. Then the Torah tells us about the carbon mincha, a meal offering. The Torah tells us that it was made of flour, oil, frankincense. Again, this is dependent on, on what types of carbon mincha you're bringing. Whether you're bringing an oven-baked carbon, a pan-baked one, a deep pan one. The Torah tells us that they do kamitsa, how that was done. The Torah also says that uh, no chomets could be used for a carbon mincha, or for that matter, for any carbon. How much salt is to be used for the carbon. Then we have the fruit offering. Again, the Torah runs through the details of how you bring um, various um, offerings from fruit. Next, we have the carbon shlomim. This is a voluntary, a peace offering. It's dependent on which animal is brought, whether it's a male animal, a female animal. Um, the, the owner, the, the person who brings the carbon, has to do smicha. Then the Torah tells us how the shechite is done. Again, what parts are eaten, what parts are burned, how everything is done. Next, the Torah throws in one issue that it's also to eat certain parts of fat, the chaleb, or it's also to eat blood. The Torah continues with the carbon chatos, the details regarding the sin offering, different animal, different procedure, dependent on what type of carbon chatos it is, whether it's the carbon of the Kohen Gadol, or it's a par helen dover, whether when all of Klag Yisrael did something wrong and they didn't, and they didn't know about it, whether a Nasi, a ruler, is bringing it, or an individual is bringing the carbon chatos. Um, that's what it's dependent on how or what was done with the karma chatos. Then we have the osham, the guilt offering. Uh, if somebody by mistake is over on tumah or on an oath or shvua, or if, in, if somebody is in doubt whether he did the avera or if someone's a thief, again this is dependent on his financial means this time as to what he has to bring and how it is brought. The Torah also says that if somebody is a thief or if somebody causes damage to hekdash, he has to give one fifth extra. The Torah concludes that the koyan will through these carbonas, provide forgiveness before Hashem for his sin. In summary, the Torah runs through the details of the oilo, an elevation offering, a mincha, a meal offering, a fruit offering, a shlomim, a voluntary peace offering, the iser, the Torah tells us to eat chelev and dam, then we have the carbon chatos, a sin offering, and the carbon oshom, the guilt offering. Thank you very much. Good Shabbos.